Good afternoon, welcome to Amsterdam. It's 10 Celsius the temperature and we are next to the flower market. It's an authentic Dutch weather again here, rainy since the morning and it's windy. You need a proper umbrella for day like this, days like this in Amsterdam. Because, I mean, you have to bring your umbrella if you visit Amsterdam in advance. Just put an umbrella, a proper umbrella to your luggage before come here in advance. Because all the umbrellas sold around in this touristy centrum, they are useless. They don't work uh, with the wind and rain combination of Amsterdam. I will show you an example. Here we have one. A dead umbrella, a tourist umbrella is here. Look at that. There are many like this in Amsterdam streets around today, like all the rainy days around. Anyways, I will give you some advice about uh, Amsterdam weather during our walk, and we're gonna walk like 30 minutes. Hopefully, the rain level will be like this. It's a light rain at the moment, but like two hours ago, it was heavier than this and uh, the wind was stronger actually before we continue this is Lysa Street this one the direction you see now it goes to Lysa Plain and here's Pau this side and here's another improper umbrella there are many we will see a lot today just a second it's a bit crowded also In distance, you see the Muntorum, Moon Tower, and this is Flower Market right side. And further, you, you can see the Rembrandt Plain. This side goes to Kalferstraat, the shopping street, and this is Heiligeweg, the Holy Road. I will mention about you later. Let me see the supporters and watchers at the moment who are here. Nigel is here as usual. Tommy san, good morning. Today you didn't miss. Yes, Wang Dong, Adrian and Dogal, McGuire, Mello family, our regulars are here as usual, Tibor, Tibor our friend is here also, Roseanne from the Philippines, the orange jacket, yes, unfortunately it's not uh, represent the current moment, I have an orange jacket, but not the one on the thumbnail, thanks to our thumbnail sponsor, Art Bay Bite, on Instagram, you can find him. This is my friend. A birthday party. Whose birthday? Hey, happy birthday. Andreas, hello there. Uh, hello, so, so many, so many chats. Peter Milder, Kuldemida, and Sundari, Angelo. Thanks very much, everybody to come on to this live stream we're gonna walk together on the rain it seems the rain is going to continue until night probably like since the morning it's the same but that's fine for now it's a bit windy look how they use umbrellas on the bike <laughs> it's a difficult day you need definitely you need waterproof shoes like mine and waterproof jacket this navy jacket is waterproof one and a proper umbrella all the stores they are selling umbrella around the, in amsterdam they sell the cheap and weak umbrellas that doesn't work you don't have to buy them if you are already in amsterdam if it's rain just enjoy it don't buy an umbrella for 10 euros, a useless one, or don't buy that nylon uh, rain, rain jackets, how to call them, I can't remember, but that nylon things, that cancer material, they are also useless. Because most of the time the rain is quite short in the Netherlands, it doesn't take so long. Today is an exception. Today see another broken umbrella over there 
Today is an exception whole day raining, but normally it rains like 15 minutes and it stops. Then another 15 minutes and it stops. So it's a good idea to shopping around in rainy weather so you can get your rain in installments during your shop visits or you can visit a department store or mall around or if you are like me you can enjoy a beautiful cozy brown bar in this type of weather or maybe some of you guys your green friendly people I know some of you you can enjoy special Amsterdam coffee shops by the way this is Heiligeweg this, the name of the street is Heiligeweg it means in English it's the Holy Holy Way the Holy Way uh, in the 14th century a miracle happened in Kalferstraat just left side of that corner there is Kalferstraat the shopping street and a miracle happened I don't have much detail about the miracle but something about uh, religious uh, miracles so there is a chapel there it's still there as I know so the street was a short part of pilgrim road coming from Slotton Slotton is a Slotton was a village out of Amsterdam currently it's in Amsterdam New West there is a town area it's called Slotton that way so Leicester also, was also part of the Holy Way from Slotton that side the pilgrims were walking through the streets and at the end they were arriving to that miracle place it was a house uh, in 14th century in the 14th century there was a house that miracle happened and since then there's a chapel there Engin Sumer, merhaba, hoş geldiniz. Hello, Travel Ray, hello there. Jinch, Paul Arnott, 420 toilet brush salesman. Sorry, I can't read the chat because I'm also holding an umbrella. It's not easy to walk around with a camera today, but I will try to do my best as usual. This is the entrance of currently uh, a passage shopping mall, let's say and uh, until 19th century uh, there was a prison here prison for young people it was like a detention center and after 19th century it's demolished and a swimming pool built was built instead of the prison but only the gate was preserved the gate is still there it's from 1603 this gate it's rust house port port means gate if you are interested in history I'm just giving you some summary information but here there are more informations on this place you can see in both Dutch and English so this gate was the main entrance to the rust house grating house the young prisoners were cutting Brazilian wood I think as I understand there's a popular fries place here Fleming X everybody knows about Mana Campus at Tamrak but this is also pretty famous especially for Dutch Dutch always come here Fleming X this this letter it's written I think uh, the wild beast must be tamed something like that there's a there's an old old words are there the translation should be wild beasts should be tamed and there are some figures they are also from 1603 I think of course it's renovated Castigatio says there's an angel over there and the two prison on the chains there are more figures here different kind of animals lion and some other animals as I, as I see it's a beautiful gate it's the only thing remained from the prison okay. 
anyways, let's continue to cover start. It's raining a bit harder now. Just a second. Please thumbs up on this video. It's not easy to make a video today. Support with your likes and thanks to YouTube members, Patreon supporters as usual. Kevin goes that fries place. Good choice, good choice. I also most of the time I tried that one. Instead of waiting too much in mannequin piss. It's also good, but here there's a less queue usually and it's also very nice. This is the place where you can buy strip waffles for 13 euro. This place was on all Dutch news in the previous weeks. It became famous because no Dutch people never pay, never ever pay 13 euro for a simple strip waffle. But here, most of the tourists are paying, they don't care, they say it's an experience. And there are some interviews about that. Anyways, where was that chapel? Let me see. It's the opposite side, in the opposite side of a burger place. I think it's on that side, further. This is shopping street, Kaufstrat. Like centuries ago, there was a calf market around somewhere around this street that's why it's called Kalf Street Kalf Street so in Dutch Kalf Street so we're gonna have a slow walk towards the centrum we are already in centrum but more centrum I mean it was a busy weekend to me Yesterday, after our slaughter deck video, I went off to waste to my town and I was there in my favorite bar on a live music, live Dutch music with my friends. We had a good time, but we drank a lot. That's the problem, so not much energy today. I'll just show you quickly around in 30 minutes probably and we're gonna continue. This is the umbrella I mentioned you before. This Amsterdam umbrella, totally useless. It doesn't work. And probably they sell it like 7-8 euro. If you buy any shoes from here, pair of socks are free. What's that? It's uh, sugar stuff. All the diabetes products are here. Candy popcorn, Reaper. I think those are American products. They don't look like Dutch. Waterstone say a great bookstore. You can find anything in English and Dutch, of course. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So the left side is Spa, Spa Square is over there and there is a herring stall here that you can try herring fish, herring fish I mean, that side is rocking. Maybe you already mentioned in the on the live chat but Dutch always say you are not a sugar so rain is not important don't think too much about the rain what happens if you get wet at the end I mean most of the rains are here quite short short ones One important place that we can't continue without showing that is behind office on this direction. 
there's a religious woman community from the 15th century and the oldest wooden house is also there other than Apian building. One of the two remained wooden houses is located in Behindhof on the left side, on the left street. street. Normally this shopping street is pretty more crowded, but due to the shitty weather today, it's fine, it's not bad. You can see the Behindhof's uh, entrance over there. It's beautiful already from here. Maybe I have to show you, but but anyway, there's a stuff over there I don't want to disturb. But it's free, entrance is free. We have been there before. Most of my regular watchers also already know that. Another time we can go inside when there is a better weather. <laughs> Shoes. Seventy percent discount here. Which one is that? Fun denim. Up to seventy percent. Uh. Let's walk from the right side. Good chip stores, recommendations, not from around here. I mean, most of the stores are here located, they, they have discounts. They have big discounts, like you see, 70%, 60%, etc. But they are already expensive compared to other parts of the Netherlands. Maybe in, uh, there are some outlet centers in the Netherlands. It's better to go there and shop there, like Ruhrmond or Westfield Mall, maybe in Den Haag. Amsterdam, Bermelen, and may maybe it will be cheaper the uh, classical stores. Not sure. Well, the chapel, the, the chapel I mentioned about you, it should be somewhere else. Somewhere around here. Not sure where it is at. That miracle house, the location is somewhere here. Because the burger place is here, it should be the opposite side. I think inside of this building, probably. Here we have the former gate of Amsterdam Museum. Here it is. Entrance, entrances to Amsterdam Museum is not from this side any longer. Also, Amsterdam Museum has moved to Amstel River area. I don't know what's happening inside nowadays. Maybe it's under renovation. It's already see can be seen here that our museum is temporarily uh, temporarily so it's gonna be back so it's under renovation now if you want to see Amsterdam History Museum it's in Amstel 51 nearby Hermitage Museum nearby uh, Skinny Bridge but before you could enter from this gate and the gate is from, as I see, from 1581. It's a beautiful, beautiful gate with Amsterdam coat of arm. An interesting paint over there at the sculpture. I don't know what is written. It's an old Dutch language. Anyways, let's continue. Let's carry on walking. If you just go to the next street, it's rocking. If you are bored about the crowd here, it, if it's too crowded, you can just go there to take a fresh breath. Breathe. 
From the next street, I will do that. I'll turn to left or right to see someone else. Captain Candy stuff. Okay, where we go, let's take a look to Rokin from this little alley. But actually maybe next street because this is too narrow alley and connection will get lost if we get through that. I'll not take the risk. See, in every store you can find Amsterdam umbrellas like this. And poncho. Plain ponchos. Ponchos are also useless. Because, let's be honest, if you are not me, if you are not me, you wouldn't walk under rain for hours in Amsterdam. You can just get into a store or coffee place or some coffee shop, something, you know, a bar. But you wouldn't walk like me, like two hours under rain. You just get into somewhere and wait until it stops, if it stops. So that poncho is, it doesn't work. When you wear it, after 10 minutes, it's gonna be too warm inside. Because of your jacket, inner clothes, it's gonna be st steamy inside, so you will not be comfortable with that poncho. That poncho is for, for the people who do hiking, jogging, and cycling in outdoor areas, not for the city life. It's in my op my opinion, by the way. I mean, you will have another idea, but uh, as a person who cycled a lot in outdoor, and uh, I I did so many long distance <laughs> bike tours in the past, so I I always use that panchos and waterproof things on my journeys. But in Amsterdam city center, they are just another way to steal your money from your pocket. You just need an umbrella, that's all. Before you come here. Okay, we couldn't turn the right to the rocking, to rocking side, but we are already at the end of the street, Calver Street. So Dump Square, that means a new store is here, I think. This is, I'm not sure, maybe it was already there. Maybe I'm just noticing now. We are pretty crowded today. About 140 people on the live chat. Thanks, guys, walking with me. This romantic walk together. Appreciate it. Here we are again, Dump Square. It's also under construction, under renovation. The Royal Palace, I mean. <laughs> the tower side from tower side also the back side is under renovation for a while yeah. let's take a little breath breathe here just a second uh, by the way, my microphone has a low battery. If my sound stops, uh, let me know quickly, so I will put off the microphone. Hey, how can this see you in April? Yes, we're gonna drink some good stuff. 
hopefully. Terezinha, hello there. Akabaka is here again, good afternoon. Pablo Argentina is here, thank you very much. Hola Pablo. Thank you so much, G and A. It doesn't matter rain or not. Again, there is a queue here in Madame Tussauds Museum. And also, like, Dutch people continue their bike life as if no rain at all. Oops, there's a music. I look. look. I don't know how many broken umbrellas are taken away at the end of a rainy day. It, it is another one. Now you know what to do for a rainy weather in Amsterdam. Just don't buy the tourist umbrellas. I just save your 10 euro approximately. Like they green again. Oh my God! It's more windy, more and more. Where we go, we go to the tourist way, your way, my way. This vibrant area of Amsterdam. Let's see in a rainy day how it looks like the way goes to the red zone and the wallen area the wallen hey spain hello there luciano greetings and Omar, hello also. Hello to all people I haven't noticed on the live chat because I'm looking around constant, constantly. There is my another favorite bookstore is there, Sheltema at the corner. It's also great for, especially for English magazines. I can find every magazine there. Shelter. Also, there is another one in Spa, I think. There are some different umbrella designs. They look like broken umbrella, but it's not. It's a special Dutch design, award-winning design, I think. It's especially strong to the wind because of its shape. When I see one, I will show you. So it, the shape is not like a circle, but it's like a triangle. So when you put it towards to the wind direction, then it stays uh, stable. I think only in the Netherlands they use that kind of umbrellas. A little back here. Just a second. If you are regular on my videos, you know how this video is gonna end up. It's a surprise for the new watchers. But the regulars know that already. Mexicans, Argentinos, Grills, Burger Bar, everything is in this place. 
no change here. Middle East, no East, Middle East, top churros, walk to walk, and the seeds, royal seeds. Beautiful rainy day. The wind is not too strong, so I can still hold the umbrella properly, so we can make our video as usual. I think we have to go on this way. The other side is red zone. We cannot go into the red zone with the camera. So I will skip the next route. Instead, I will follow this route. Like I did many times. Boom, tobacco. This is normally when you, the place you can get into a, a boat cruise. The open air, half open cabrio waters but the boat cruises are still available by the way the covered ones you see the stuff is there you can buy the tickets immediately from here and there are drinks inside during the boat cruise, you can buy your drinks inside and you can pay by cart. Pretty convenient, it's 45 minutes. This one is 45 minutes. It's a special one, they have all kinds of drinks inside. The other one is probably is cheaper. It's one hour as I know. The Bulldog coffee shop is here. I mean, one of them is here. Oops. Let's walk through to danger zone. A lot of constructions and renovations throughout Amsterdam streets everywhere. Oh, museums of Museum of Illusions is there. And the Cafe Old Town on one of my live streams, we have been there inside on live. This is Bulldog store, that uh, popular, famous coffee shop place, also souvenir stores. Some, some areas in Amsterdam, so you can buy Bulldog, cafe Bulldog written t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, etc. Everything. Hello Anaria, how are you? We were in Sloterdijk in uh, yesterday. We were in Sloterdijk and we saw your tram there. It departs from Sloterdijk and it goes to Demon. Anaria is watching from our Demon. Demon is a municipality in, uh, out of Amsterdam, another municipality, but it's actually in Amsterdam. see some gloomy view. You see the covered boat is coming, boat cruise. It's a different kind of experience. Maybe we can try it if we can catch a good, nice rainy weather. We can just hop into a boat cruise on the live stream. Oh, this is holy boat. It's pretty in line with our content today because I mentioned about uh, Holy Road, Holy Way and the name of the boat is Holy Holy Boat. I think the reason is because they smoke inside. Buddha launch boat. Okay. Someone left his traffic sign here. Go to the right. It's free. You can take it to your home and also a bike included. This is another bulldog, Grand Cafe. I think it's it's a real cafe, not a coffee shop. We are getting closer to the old church, the oldest building in Amsterdam at the corner.
once upon a time this part of Amsterdam, this side, it was also uh, it was also part of the Wallen, the red zone. I mean, now it's closed. All the windows were transformed into fashion stores, coffee places, and similar things. The left side. Right side will be the same probably in the next years. In order to show you that, I will walk through that smallest street of Amsterdam. If it's free, let me see. On my left, but there's a couple doing something there. Let's wait a minute, maybe they will leave soon. By the way, we have a Discord server on video description, you can find it. And if you become a member on Discord server, you can ask your questions to me or to other uh, members there. We have like 140 people there. And by clicking the join button on the bottom of the video, you can become a YouTube member and you can get early notifications about my live videos. And also you can reach members only videos or you can just become a supporter on Patreon. All the links are on the video description. If you are interested, you can check it out. So, let me see if we can get inside. I think we can look. Yeah, I think it's possible. Sorry. I have to close this. Here it is. Once upon a time, this small street was the very centrum of the red zone. Not anymore. All the windows on left and right, they are closed. Oh, I have to open again. Yeah. Let's try to walk with the umbrella. Those are all windows, they are closed and transformed to something. Art galleries, this one also, Croc Madame. And there is a tattoo shop, shop here. In the past there were four windows here, where uh, hard workers were working. Now it's one tattoo shop, it looks nice actually. Walk-ins welcome. It says. So, church time. That's the old church, the other kirk. I see a super chat I think. Let me see. Geneva Farm, thank you so much. <laughs> Eric, Eric B, thank you for the Geneva Farm. I'm sorry if I miss any super chat. The Call of Duty Church, yes. <laughs> That's true. This is the area where uh, it was uh, in the late last one of the last versions of Call of Duty. The church is available for visits, by the way. You can visit the church. The entrance fee should be around 9 euro, as I remember. If you have museum cards, it's free for museum card. But for museum card, you have to be living here in the Netherlands. Warm Strat. Let's take, take a look to here. Uh, this street is better. <coughs> I 
Kraków, to jest taka właśnie odnośnie miasta i taka grupka. Rainy or not, this street is always lively. Especially after 12 o'clock. <laughs> My Turkish friend, the one who drives the boat. Oh, he's fine. He has a YouTube channel, Hungry Man Kitchen, and we see each other regularly. But only uh, he doesn't like to be in my live videos. Not everyone likes to be on a live video, you know. But uh, we are good friends. We see each other regularly. I have also another friend, Dutch friend who also drove my boat uh, during pandemic times, I think. We also see each other with the attachment regularly. <laughs> That's good, microphone is still working, it seems. Because I forgot to close it, it stay open like four hours. And just before starting to the live stream, I noticed that. So we have a low charging for that. Let's go back to Dumrak for a minute. In distance Amsterdam Central Station if you watch my videos I show you a plate that I bought a tile on the tile there is an old Amsterdam paint picture and on that tile you see that there is waters and ships over there so Amsterdam Central Station was built on three islands east west centrum three artificial islands this is grasshopper this is my first or second place I have first tried uh, green stuff. Maybe first time I tried here, maybe second time. I'm not sure. Look, there's a queue over there. It's because of Tony's chocolate. Tony's chocolate is a good chocolate from the Netherlands and the people is waiting there because it's such a small place you can make your own chocolate you choose the ingredients and after a while the machine brings you a fresh chocolate by your choices what is that? Rembrandt's Amsterdam Experience Immersive 5D Experience It's in Veterans, Veterans House and Torture Museum Medieval Exhibition I've been there before Today almost in every garbage bins of Amsterdam you can find an umbrella That will give you a clue about Amsterdam weather sometimes.
By the way, one one interesting info. The building over there you see is a Berlache building. It's an event centrum. And there are many other things. Cafe restaurant inside. And the name of that street is something bridge. An old bridge I think. Because like centuries ago, like before 15th century, maybe later also, the street was not a street. There was it was a it was also river this side. Later it's filled and there was a bridge here. Right next to that street plate, there was a, an old bridge, wooden bridge. There was a dam on Dam Square. And from Amsterdam River, all the water was flowing out to I River, I, I see, lake, sea, whatever. <laughs> Currently, Amsterdam Central Station, I mean, water was going there from Amsterdam River. Alvaro, hello there, greetings. Another, another construction renovation works uh, have begun here. Okay, guys, I will skip the bar part today. I will use the Geneva Fund another time or when I go back to my town. It's a shitty weather, so I want to go back to my house soon. We're going to go to Central Station direction and I will stop the video inside, hopefully. So after a long time, the first time we don't finish the video in a Geneva place. I will just go to the central station to take a train just as an ordinary boring person. There's the wheel. Let me see. Uh, yeah, some people they like to listen to music a lot in public. They they want to show everyone the music they like. What is that? Liar thief. Check in clerk, click North Hostel, stay away from here. He is a liar, rude and ignorant, emotionally blocked, a low life from Portugal. <laughs> My God, look at that. Someone is very angry about the receptionist, receptionist of that hostel. Interesting. Amsterdam, Amsterdam is full of surprises always. you find another interesting thing. Here is the same flyer. I think also he put the picture, photo of that guy. Thanks, Andreas Miller. I will definitely get a virtual Geneva in Tutor San Belen. I will take a picture and I will share with Patreon and YouTube supporters later. And the weather is going to continue like this, so 
I don't want to stay in Amsterdam more. I want to be close to my home today. Also not much energy. But despite not much energy, we have again almost one hour video. Yeah, despite this nice weather. I think this video deserves at least two likes for each person. Each one of you should give a double like. Double thumbs up, please. You still have time to open another YouTube account and give a second like. <laughs> Okay. Let me see. Oh, yes. let's go. Okay, we get inside. Finally, no umbrella place. Let's go up. <sighs> okay. Today we're gonna end it up in second class Starbucks. So here, there is a beautiful Starbucks coffee place. It's a hidden place upstairs like this, next to the railway. But the, the interior is historical, it's protected. And the, from the window, you can see outside Amsterdam Central Station Square. There's also a restaurant over there. It's the first class restaurant. Anyways, before getting into the Starbucks, I'm gonna finish the video here. Ah, thanks very much everybody. It was a tough one. But thanks for walking with me. See you next week and or Thursday maybe. Okay, bye bye.